description of either of your names. That's okay, Rich Mahogany. <laughs> I mean Mahogany. All right, we're getting back to the action, folks. And as we start this jam on the Plan B Jammer line, we've got Magic Missile for the Unholy Rollers jamming against Sequin Destroy Her for the Quad Squad. Yeah, it looks like Magic Missile has broken through and taken lead jam for the Unholy Rollers. However, Sequin Destroy Her is still working on making, uh, making her way through the pack. Magic Missile, meanwhile, hits the pack, takes a little bit of a bounce there, and then gets right through and gets a five-point Minia Madison Grand Slam for the Unholy Rollers. Oh, she tries to sneak through the inside there, is knocked down, but calls that jam, scoring two more points for the Unholy Rollers before Sequin Destroy Her can score any points for the Quad Squad. We'd like to thank one of our sponsors, Cool Entertainment. This evening's outstanding music is provided by Tony with Cool Entertainment. If you ever want a DJ lighting or a badass mixtape, just search Cool en Entertainment. That's K-U-H-L entertainment.com. Getting back to the action on the track, looks like we have Gertrude Awakening jamming for the Unholy Rollers. Jamming up against Hammer Abbey for the Quad Squad. Looks like Hammer Abbey is the lead jam for this jam. She's going to break through the pack, call off the jam before uh, look, before Gertrude Awakening could get through and score any points. And she gets four points for the Quad Squad. Hammer Abbey back on the track after taking a little bit of a Hard fall earlier in the first period of the bout. She's back on the track for the quad squad now. Yep, she is a tough skater. There she have been sure a number is. of times I've seen her take a, take some pretty brutal looking spills and then not a few jams later, she is back on the track. And that's what we see from a lot of these skaters out here. Now on the track, jamming for the quad squad, we've got Girl Friday up against Fang Dangled for the Unholy Rollers with the Jammer helmet cover on. Both skaters fighting against packs of the opposing blockers. You'll see the quad squad in front with three blockers up there trying to keep Fang Dangled back. Spreading out the pack and four unholy rollers in the back of the pack trying to hold back Girl Friday. It looks like Fang Dangled's juked pass, Stally Gator took lead, you know, took lead jam there, is working on making a scoring pass now. However, the quad squad blockers are waiting for her at the back of the pack. Alligator knocks her around to the outside. Alligator getting those knocks to the outside, uh, skating backwards, causing that jammer to have to recycle around to the back. And Fang Dangled calls that jam off. Now it looks like we've got Splatter Alice for the Unholy Rollers lining up on the Plan B jammer line up against Booty Collins for the Quad Squad. All right, with that, the jam begins. Looks like Booty Collins is going to try to sneak around the outside, but is denied. Unholy Rollers, a nice wall there to meet her. Quad Squad holding back Splatter Alice, though. Sequin Destroy Her, taking her to the outside and recycling her around to the back of that pack. Meanwhile, Booty Collins makes her way to the front of the pack. She gets out and is lead jammer for the Quad Squad. Booty yeah. Collins approaching the pack, getting a little a bit of offensive help from Sequin Destroyer, who skates up there. She gets past one of the Unholy Rollers, calls that jam off, and gets three points for the Quad Squad. It looks like that brings our t score total to Unholy Rollers 101, Quad Squad 39. Do have another quick shout out to read here. Do you know what tonight is? The no, night, what's tonight? The night to try the quarterback sneak. All right. <laughs> Maybe one of these jammers will take that into account. Lining up for the Unholy Rollers here, we've got un, um, Magic Missile 
fighting on off the jammer line. She's going up against Tamar Abbey, who has made her way to the front of the pack, but it looks like she was called off the track for a penalty. I believe that was a low block penalty. That'll send her to the Monkey Bar Gym penalty box, 430 seconds, yeah. leaving Magic Missile on the track and giving the Unholy Rollers a power jam. Susie Homewrecker takes that opportunity to knock Magic Missile to the back of the pack. And Magic Missile makes her way around, squeezes up and shoots through the inside of a wall of green getting a mini of Madison Grand Slam and five more points for the Unholy Rollers. Looks like Hammer Abbey is out of the penalty box and back on the track, fighting her way through the pack. She's up against a wall of defense from the Unholy Rollers, just holding her there, knocking her around. Meanwhile, Splatter Alice coming around the back of the pack. I'm sorry, not Splatter Alice, but Magic Missile. Molly Tov on the track, taking Hammer Abby down, and she uh, has to recycle her way back around through the pack and up against the Unholy Rollers again, getting a little bit of offensive help there from Allie Gator. Hammer Abby just hammering away, trying to make her way through that pack. Unholy Rollers kind of knocking her around. Magic Missile gets around that pack and she gets through the through the pack of skaters there for another Mini Madison Grand Slam. Sounds like the jam clock is going to run out. And that'll bring the Unholy Rollers to 116 points, Quad Squad at 39. Still 23 minutes to go in this second period of the bout. And let's hear it for the quad squad out there. Everybody rooting for those superheroes. They're gonna try and bring it back here with Sequin Destroy Her jamming on the line for the quad squad. Those of you out there um, cheering for the Unholy Rollers. We've got Gertrude Awakening out there for your team. Looks like Sequin Destroyer is gonna go through and take lead jam for the quad squad. Gertrude Awakening still working her way against Luna Trick and Conan the Librarian. Working with a pack there with Slayhound. They're all holding um, Gertrude Awakening to the back of the pack, recycling her around there while Sequin Destroy Her makes her way around the track through the pack and for a Mini Madison Grand Slam for the Quad Squad. Looks like Gertrude Awakening is going to finally break free of the pack. Sequin Destroyer gets through that pack and she calls off the jam. She gets three more points for the quad squad. And that brings the quad squad up to 47 points. Unholy Rollers stay at 116. Let's give another few shout outs here while we have some time. Tyler, Brandon, Sierra, Amy. I like you all. Amy, Brandon, Sierra, and Tyler. Sincerely, Azik. And it looks like she wrote it herself, so that's great. All right, getting back down to the action. Looks like... Uh, We've already got Susie Homewrecker jamming there for the quad squad up against Gertrude Awakening. Yep, Gertrude Awakening, who I believe picked up a late back block penalty at the end of the last jam, so she is hanging out in the penalty box. That's so right. this that is a power jam for Susie Homewrecker and the Quad Squad. Susie Homewrecker gets lead jammer for the Quad Squad. Now she's on her scoring pass, trying to fight her way through the Unholy Rollers, and she gets there with a Mini of Madison Grand Slam for the Quad Squad. Looks like Gertrude Awakening has been released from the penalty box and has made her way through the pack. She's gonna work on catching up to Susie Homewrecker and getting on that scoring pass. Susie Homewrecker gets right past those unholy rollers, scoring another three points for the quad squad, bringing their total to 55 points. Unholy rollers at 116. All right, got a shout out to Amara Angel, 
Welcome to your first roller derby. Have fun. Love, Mom. Awesome. How many of you are out there? This is your very first roller derby bout that you're seeing tonight. All right. Thanks oh. for coming, yeah. folks. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having as much fun as we are. And if you haven't seen these Mad Rolling Dolls before, you can come and see them again on May 10th when we will have our championship bout. Let's get back to this bout, though. It looks like Splatter Alice has lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. She's jamming against Sequin Destroyer, who is in the penalty box for the quad squad, leaving the Unholy Rollers and Splatter Alice with a power jam. Splatter Alice makes her way through that pack, scoring five points and a Minia Madison Grand Slam for the Unholy Rollers. Sequin Destroyer is back in from the penalty box. She takes a hit on Splatter Alice, but then she herself is hit down by the Unholy Rollers. Looks like uh, Molly Tov, or not Molly Tov, I'm sorry, Tango de Muerte and the Manipulator out there. Like Splatter Alice sneaking around the outside. Taking Ooh, a little taken down. End there. Taken down by Pied Typer, but then gets back up. Scoring four points for the Unholy Rollers. Sequin destroy her right behind her with four points for the quad squad. And Splatter Alice calls off the jam before either of the blockers get back through and around. Got another shout out to Reed here. From Izzy to Mom, I heart you so much. No. <laughs> oh. Gotta love that derby love. And we all, we love you all for coming out here to support these skaters um, who work so hard to put the game of roller derby here on the track for you all to see. We've got Magic Missile from the Unholy Rollers jamming on the Plan B jammer line with Booty Collins from the Quad Squad. It looks like and Booty Collins going to break through to take lead jam. Still have Magic Missile working her way against the Quad Squad defense. And Magic Missile tries to get out of bounds before she puts her foot back down in bounds, but it looks like she was called on a track cut before she could get her body out of bounds again. So she'll be in the penalty box while Booty Collins and the Quad Squad have a power jam. Booty Collins getting a little bit of offense there from the Quad Squad blocker, Conan the Librarian. She's through for a Minia Madison Grand Slam and five points for the Quad Squad. Quad Squad needs these points to come back from a little bit of a points, point defense. Deficit. Yeah, thank you, not deep. <laughs> Booty Collins, though, fighting her way through, getting a few more points there for the quad squad before the jam is called. 68 points there. Looks like Magic Missile did get released from the penalty box just at the end of that jam. So there will be a full, uh, well, both jammers will be present for the next jam. But we do have a timeout called. Looks like it was called by the Unholy Rollers. And that gives us some time here to give some shout outs. Um, not only the shout outs that you have, but we also want to thank our sponsors. We want to thank our bout sponsor, our Feed the Doll sponsor tonight, Tex Tubbs. Tex Tubbs Taco Palace has a casual and fun atmosphere where you can choose from an assortment of delicious craft, chef crafted tacos, and thirst quenching margaritas. Serving till 11 p.m. and on the weekends. Tex Tubbs on Atwood Avenue where they have never served jackalope, and they never will. Tex Tubbs. Got another shout out from the audience here. Shout out to Dana Derringer and her bachelorettes. There's too much true love, I can't stand it. Ah. I can't stand it. Can't stand all that true love. And Dana Derringer looks might be like she might be here on a bachelorette party. All right, I hear him over I, there. That Enjoy sounds yourselves confirmed here. to me. <laughs> Mad Rolling Dolls would also like to welcome some of our group groups tonight. We'd like to welcome American Family Insurance to the bout tonight. Uh, they've got, I think, about 83 or 80 plus people here tonight. So let's hear it for American Family Insurance. 
Man Roland Dolls would also like to welcome Exact Sciences to the bout. They have a group here tonight. And also some more groups, the Super Youper, Super Fans, and the Open House Gender Learning Community of UW Housing. Yep, and if you are interested in getting some discounts on tickets for your group, you can go ahead and email group tickets at madrollandolls.com at least 10 days before any bout. So if you want to get in for this next one on May 9th, Get in at some point before uh, before the end before of the, April. Before the end of April, yep, by May 1st. Otherwise, buy tickets for our next bout at the rules table tonight, just $10. So uh, the rules table is at our concessions area. Head on down there for tickets to the next bout. Have another shout out for the infamous Mr. Carlson. Mr. Carlson, don't tell Marge, but you are the better driver. And we want to remind you also, um, the Unholy Rollers have a scavenger hunt. You can pick up uh, the scavenger hunt um, sheets at the merch table. They're asking you to find a few things, as well as the Quad Squad have a trivia contest. If you can name one of the two Quad Squad alumni that skated in the record bout tonight, you could win tickets to the finals bout. Well, we got some action back on the track, Hammer Abbey. Jamming for the Quad Squad, up against the Gertrude Awakening for the Unholy Rollers. Both of these jammers jamming quite a bit for the t their teams tonight. Gertrude Awakening fighting at the front of the pack against a wall of four Quad Squad. She's trying to break through that wall of green. Keeps fighting her way. Meanwhile, Hammer Abby in the back fighting against the wall of gold. Yeah, both plays playing very aggressively, trying to make sure that they can come out on top for this bout. And finally, it looks like Gertrude awakening through the pack. She is lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers, followed by Hammer Abby of the Quad Squad. And Gertrude awakening makes her way past one of the Quad Squad, picking up two points for the Unholy Rollers, bringing their total to 131, Quad Squad at 68. Got another uh, shout out from the audience here. Hey, Goldie, 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 pay attention. You're a wild thing. You make my heart sing. Aw, Goldie Mean on the line, blocking for the Unholy Rollers. You make my heart sing. And jamming for the Unholy Rollers, we've got Magic Missile. She's going up against Gouda Riddens. Jamming for the Quad Squad. Gouda Riddens' first time on the jammer line. Looks like Magic Missile has made her way through the pack and she is lead jam. Lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. Gouda, Gouda Riddens. Riddens jumps right over one of the Unholy Rollers there, makes yeah. it out of the pack. Very slick jump there. Looks like a bit of a tumble happening with Magic Missile back in the, uh, in the pack. She's gonna call off the jam as she gets knocked to the outside, preventing from, uh, Gouda Riddens from getting in and scoring any more points. On Holy Roller is doing a really good job of, uh, as you were saying earlier, hitting it and quitting it. That's right. They get their jammer lead jam and then get some points and call it off. <laughs> they do have the lead, so they want to keep doing that. But the Quad Squad trying to get lead jam and um, get more points here to decrease the deficit that they see on the on the. Um, on the board. And it looks like Booty Collins is going to try to do that for the quad squad now, jamming for them. However, Splatter Alice takes lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. Splatter Alice making her way back up through that pack really fast. She's now back around the track and on her point scoring pass. Booty Collins making her way around the track as well. Splatter Alice gets through the pack, calls it off before the quad squad can make any more points. So doing a good job still, those unholy rollers. Quad squad gonna need to get the lead jammer status here um, from their jammers in order to get that control. I'd like to give a quick shout out to another one of our sponsors, Badger Bowl. Next time you're out, stop off at Badger Bowl, your hometown entertainment destination. Badger, Band offers, or Badger Bowl offers live bands, bowling, a full-service bar, restaurant, and catering. So there's something for everyone at Badger Bowl. 
And we've got some action on the track. Fang Dangled, lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. She's out there on the track against Sequin Destroy Her, jamming for the Quad Squad. Sequin still trying to fight past Goldie Mean and um, and the um, Unholy Rollers, Scarlet Osneria. Hello, Sailor. It looks like Fang Dangle is going to have uh, gone through, picked up four points on her scoring pass, looking to do it again. Sneaking around the outside, picking up a mini of Madison Grand Slam. That'll be another five points for the Unholy Rollers. Sequin destroy her, a little bit of fancy footwork there to get past the Unholy Rollers. Just getting out of the pack so she can head around on her point scoring pass, but Fang Dangled calls that jam off before the Quad Squad can get any more points. Increasing the Unholy Rollers lead, now they have 152 points. Quad Squad at 68, 12 minutes still in the game. Have another shout out to Reed here from you out in the audience. Eric, happy 40th birthday. Don't worry, you have a rockin' bod and very few wrinkles. Fun one for you to read there, Rich. <laughs> so happy birthday, Eric. <laughs> and up on the jammer line for the Quad Squad, we've got Gouda Riddens. She's jamming against Gertrude Awakening for the Unholy Rollers. <clears throat> Both jammers going back and forth trying to make their way through a wall of opposing blockers. Gouda Riddens through the pack first, and she is lead jammer for the Quad Squad. Gouda Riddens what? getting lead jam, hoping to get some more points here for the Quad Squad. That quad squad blocker is doing their best to hold Gertrude Awakening back. However, she does break through. And Gouda Riddens getting up into the pack, getting past a couple unholy rollers and scoring a point for the quad squad before she calls off the jam. We've got another shout out here. Shout out to Blitz Siren from Mom and Dad. That's a shout out to you, Blitz Siren on the um, Reservoir Dolls. We'll be seeing her skate in the next bout coming up. Now lining up on the Plan B Jammer line, we've got Magic Missile for the Unholy Rollers up against Hammer Abby from the Quad Squad. Both jammers out on the line quite a few times tonight. It's like all of the Unholy Rollers blockers working on keeping Hammer Abby back, allowing Magic Missile to break through and take lead jam for her team. Magic Missile, top point scorer for the Unholy Rollers tonight, along with Fang Dangled and Splatter Alice. Makes her way through the uh, pack. Gets some hits there from Alligator, but calls that jam off, scoring three points for the Unholy Rollers before Hammer Abbey can score any for the quad squad. Have another Mr. Carlson shout out here. All right, Mr. Mr. Carlson. Mr. Carlson, please answer your phone, Marge. So while you may be the better driver, you are obviously not on point with your phone answering, Mr. Carlson. <laughs> please get it together. Going back down to the line, looks like we have Splatter Alice jamming for the Unholy Rollers with Sequin Destroy Her jamming for the Quad Squad. Kind of a slow start to the pack this time. But Sequin Destroy Her is gonna work on getting around the outside, taking lead jam for the Quad Squad. And she does it, lead jammer for the Quad Squad. Splatter Alice gets through the pack, speeding towards Sequin Destroy Her as they both approach the pack of skaters, knocking each other around. And Sequin Destroy Her calls that jam off after scoring 1.4. The Quad Squad bringing them up to 70 points. Unholy Rollers at 156. Now in other sports, this might seem like quite a lead that the Unholy Rollers have, but I don't think it's that nail in the coffin yet. There are still eight minutes and 45 seconds to go. Oh, we have seen some pretty intense power jams in the past, so I don't think that this is insurmountable at all. Certainly, That's right. certainly getting difficult. The Quad Squad needs their fans to cheer for them now. We've got Alligator jamming for the Quad Squad up against the Unholy Rollers defense. They are holding her in the back of the pack. Fang Dangle jamming for the Unholy Rollers. She's picked up lead jammer. And Fang Dangled out of the pack, around the track, and back through as Alligator is released. 
from the wall of Unholy Rollers there. Fang Dangled making her way through to the outside, knocked out by Conan the Librarian, calling the jam off. And it looks like she did so just in the right amount of time. She gets some points for the Unholy Rollers before the Quad Squad can score any more. So I do have another shout out here. It's come in from the audience, but really it covers it covers uh, it, it covers sponsors, it covers after party. This this shout out has it all. Tonight is the last ever MRD after party being held at the Inferno. Please come on down and rock the night away with Damsel Trash. So if you're not familiar, the Inferno down on, uh, down on Commercial Ave is going to be closing its doors. Soon. Oh no! Not so, the Inferno. So come on down, have a last hoorah at the Inferno with Mad Rowan Dolls. It'll sure be hot tonight, so get on down there to the Inferno. Meanwhile, on the track, we've got some jammers fighting their way past blockers. Gertrude Awakening jamming for the Unholy Rollers, and she gets her way past through the pack. She's lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers, and she's jamming against Quad Squad's Booty Collins. Booty Collins still trying to make her way through the pack. Fancy footwork around the outside to make it past Molly Tov, but she's still fighting her way past two unholy rollers in the front. Looks like Dive Hard and Tango de Muerte holding her back. Looks like Gertrude Awakening is going to be able to get through the pack around again, picking up a mini of Madison Grand Slam and five points for the unholy rollers. Looks like Booty Collins has made it through the pack as well and will begin trying to make her scoring pass as Gertrude Awakening approaches the back of the pack. Looking to pick up a few more points. Unholy Rollers let her by, but the Quad Squad trying to slow her down. Sequin Destroyer trying to take one last jab, but Gertrude Awakening makes it through, calls that jam off. And it looks like Booty Collins did pick up a couple points for the Quad Squad as well in that jam. Looks like we have another shout out for Dana Derringer up here. You found love in a hopeless place. Happy Bachelorette. One more shout out before we get back to the action. Shannon, you are like a flower that blossoms when I always see you. Aw. And goes out to Shannon. Heading back to the action on the track. Looks like we have Luna Trick jamming for the quad squad. She'll be jamming against Magic Missile for the Unholy Rollers. And Magic Missile with a quick start out and through the pack. She is lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. Lunatrix still trying to make her way past uh, Bada Boom Box. Hello, Sailor. Micro Mauler and Scarlet Osneria for the quad squad. Finally out of the pack, Magic Missile back around on another scoring pass. Oh, she just skates backwards through and turns around for four more points for the Unholy Rollers. That was some very slick footwork on the behalf of, or on the, on the part of Magic Missile there. She does have good footwork. A nice agile skater out there, plus nice tough jammer where she can just take a hit, turn around, move her feet and get through, which she just did again. While the Unholy Rollers held Lunatrick there, because she passed not only all four blockers, but also the jammer, that means Magic Missile gets five points and a Minia Madison Grand Slam for the Unholy Rollers. And Magic Missile back around the track, but slowed down at the back of the pack by the quad squad. Knocked to the inside, she quickly falls on her knees and takes the jam, calls the jam off. Gets right back up, but the Unholy Rollers now have taken the lead, or have continued the lead here. 182 to 79 points for the quad squad. Four more minutes, a little under four minutes in this last period of this bout. Let's hear it for both teams out there, folks. All right, looks like the jam has begun. We have Splatter Alice jamming for the Unholy Rollers up against Hammer Abbey for the Quad Squad. Hammer Abbey taking lead jam. Looks like Splatter Alice is still working away at the back of the pack. And Splatter Alice went down with a few of the blockers in the back of the pack as Hammer Abbey slipped through and made it through. Now Hammer Abbey through on her point scoring pass for the Quad Squad. She gets four points. 
calls that jam off before the Unholy Rollers can get any points. And he'll send another pack of quad squad skaters out there to hope to do the same. I'd like to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors, the Baldwin Street Grill. Baldwin Street Grill has fi Friday fish fry and brunch on the weekends. Thursday karaoke night is usually full of derby girls. And I know the Quad Squad like to um, go to the Baldwin Street Grill too, so head on out there. Maybe you'll see some of them singing karaoke. Lining up now on the Jammer line, we've got Tango de Muerte for the Unholy Rollers up against Sequin Destroyer for the Quad Squad. And Sequin Destroyer makes her way up past the Unholy Rollers. And she has lead jam for the Quad Squad. Looks Tango like de Muerte through the pack. Yep, Tango de Muerte getting through there, gonna look on making her scoring pass. Just as Sequin Destroy Her gets through on another scoring pass of her own and calls off the jam after picking up four points. And we got a shout out here to the Quad Squad. Way to go, Quad Squad. And with only 13 skaters. Let's hear it for the Quad Squad. Another shout out here, Ryan Gosling would like to say, hey girl, Friday. Girl Friday out there skating for the quad squad. Not in this jam, but has been tonight. Yeah, for this jam, we have Gertrude Awakening out jamming for the Unholy Rollers and Susie Homewrecker jamming for the quad squad. Gertrude Awakening out of the pack first and lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. Susie Homewrecker making her way past, dive hard on her toe stops there. Getting knocked to the outside, brought to the inside and passed. Finally out of the pack. Meanwhile, Gertrude Awakening back in the pack for her point scoring pass. She's knocked to the inside, gets right back up and tries to make her way through. Looks like there was a track cut penalty called on Gertrude Awakening there. So she is going to be heading down to the Monkey Bar Gym penalty box to spend 30 seconds to sit and think about what she has done. She'll be joined there by Dive Hard, another unholy roller sent to the penalty box. And meanwhile, this leaves Susie Homewrecker on the track for the quad squad with a power jam. She makes her way through there after some tough hits. That does mean that since Gertrude Awakening was the lead jammer, we now have a lead jammerless jam, so the jam will go for the remaining 44 seconds, which actually exceeds the period clock, so this will be the final jam of this game. All right, let's hear it for Susie Homewrecker out there skating this final jam with a power jam for the quad squad. Gertrude Awakening back on the track along with Molly Tov from the Unholy Rollers. And both jammers getting right through there, scoring four points. It looks like Gertrude Awake, I'm sorry, Susie Homewrecker scoring a Midian Madison Grand Slam there as she made it through on her point scoring pass. Gertrude Awakening knocked to the inside and taken to the back of the pack by Slayhound. And that will end the jam. The Quad Squad and Susie Homewrecker bring the score up to 103, but the Unholy Rollers take the victory with 190 points. And Unholy Rollers fans, let's hear it for your Unholy Rollers. All right, just like to remind you guys that this will be your last opportunity to head on over to the Dairyland Dolls table to buy wheels for the wheel toss. Once the track here is cleared, we will be getting another performance from the Badger Band. Once that wraps up, we will be gathering around the track for the wheel toss. So if you haven't gotten your wheels and would like to, please head on over there and pick up your wheels. That is one wheel for three dollars, two for five, and the proceeds will go to support our Dairyland Dolls getting down to Chicago in mid-May. And the Quad Squad and the Unholy Rollers will both teams will be beheaded to the fan tables, which are in the concession areas through the doors across from where the announcer table is here. 
Head on there. If you know um, a skater, one of the two Quad Squad alumni that skated in the record bout today, head on to the Quad Squad fan table to get a chance to win a ticket for our finals. If you've completed the scavenger hunt for the Unholy Rollers, bring that sheet on over to their fan table and win a chance at tickets to champs.